Hi friends, welcome to Testing Tutorials Point. This is Lokesh Gorantra and today we are going to discussing about mobile automation testing by using Python. Hi friends, welcome back. And today we are going to discussing about very important topic that is uh, uh, how to connect real device. Okay, for this I am going to show you some documentation. Okay, for all this, we, before that you have to find for uh, very first step you need to find the developer developer tools developer tools how you can able to find the developer tools okay i'll show you in this real device because i already connected with the real device in my mobile for this you need to search settings okay once you get the settings you can able to see uh privacy not privacy uh, uh, uh about phone and there is a version this is the version right here the version is there you have to hit continuously six to seven times okay once you continuously done the six to seven times You can see no need to do for a developer is already added okay for me it is showing like that but in your case it will show you for developer is on okay after that you have to find this particular developer tool allow it basically a various for system to system like mobile to mobile it will different okay then you need to go for mine is basically i'm going for advanced settings okay advanced settings if you come down there is a developer options are there okay if i click here there is a down okay if you come down there is a usb is there if you click on right it will ask you for uh, there is an option will be there like some warning type of message screen will be comes okay don't worry about it after uh, it is count is completed you need to click for ok button okay once you click the OK button, then it will allow you to connect with this particular mobile to that particular team viewer. Okay, which is the one we are going to connect, right? That particular one it will connect. This is the options. Okay. Once you've done this all the things, okay, then you need to go for first you need to download here in your mobile quick support. Team viewer quick support. That also I'll show you here how we can able to now. I'll make it for here. You need to search for in uh, your laptop. You need to search for Team Viewer Downloader and click on first option. Then you need to choose for any of them. And for me, I choose for this Team Viewer Full Client. Then I downloaded and I installed that particular file into my system. Okay. Then I installing time. It will ask you some quick support. Team viewer support and you can, can able to install. Okay, the license agreement it will ask you click checkbox and continue. No issues. Then it will comes to in this location. Okay, and here I just I signed up like I created one account for Team Viewer, and then I just have home page I settled. Okay, in your mobile you need to download for Team Viewer quick quick support. This is the app you have to download into your mobile. You can go for Play Store and Quick Support, Team Viewer Quick Support, and choose and install it. Once you've done the installation, and it will open for this particular one. Okay, it will give you for some URI ID. Okay, and then see you can see here as well. Now. Quick support, you can see right. Quick support in this quick support, it is already connected. That's why it is showing this one. Otherwise, you can able to see uh, which is the one uh, presented. Okay. Now after that, what will happen? After you get the screen right, then you need to allow. Uh, it will ask you to download for add-on variable, uh, add-on availables. Okay. Then you need to download it. 
once you click the download it will uh, come to your play store for this particular page <clears throat> and uh, team viewer universal add-on variable okay you need to click installation and then you need to allow for that to red marks you need to allow once you allow this one it will comes here as a green color then it will ask you to some allow permissions the permissions you need to provide the permissions okay once you've done the permissions you can able to get the enabling universal enable activation and it will get for allow if two screens happen then it will uh, comes to this quick support is basically when you get it right to start this one once after all the things it will give you for one uh, id and not this one and this is the one this is the id it will provide you okay once you get the id this one and go to your teams okay team uh, quick support login you are already done right and there is a click join a session join a session okay once you click the join session it will ask you for code this is the code you have to provide which is your quick support is providing that particular id right this id in your mobile it will provide for this particular id the same id you have to enter here and you need to connect in case if it is not connecting by suppose in case if it is not connecting just there is a one link which is there looking for your team viewer id just click that one okay it will ask you for participant id it will ask you for participant id same id which is you provide like here which is the one you know your mobile it is displaying right the same id you have to paste it here and click connect once you make the connect it will come and sit into in this location okay and also you can able to see this particular page and also same thing in your mobile also you will get for allow section that is and this particular screen you can able to see enable allow and start these are the three screens you can able to see all the places enable click allow click and start once you make the start this particular view it you can able to see okay even you can able to see dashboard and uh, remote control any screenshots are presented and how many apps are presented what is the settings are presented this all the things you can able to see one by one okay you can apply for anything you can able to get it okay this is a way you can able to connect with the real device into your mobile okay this is the simplest way but you need to follow the step by step if some step is missing it will not connect you that is the main thing but you have to follow the proper stepping before all the things you have to take the one usb cable that usb cable you need to be allow you to file transfer not for charging okay that is the main important and second one and you need to find the developer tools then you need to allow the usb cable these are the two points you have to do first these are very important points once you allow the usb then only you can able to do these all operations otherwise it will not work for you and then you need to download for team viewer into a laptop and quick support into your mobile and also it will ask you for add-ons and also it will allow you some permissions once you all the things you've done just you can able to connect by using the session id okay then it will connect for you and like this okay this is the simplest way okay thank you for watching